Hello, I'm Ed Trism. Welcome to Planet Zoo, where we have our zoo going pretty well. Uh, the only thing that we have an issue with right now is our staff not doing any work. And that's a little bit galling, because if you look here, ongoing expenses, staff wages are by far the biggest thing we're spending money on. I mean, animal food is 11k, staff wages are 26 almost. That's a lot. And we just have so many staff. We have more staff than we have animals, and they aren't doing the work. So, what I've done is I've set up some work zones. Uh, we have bison and croc hab, leopard and turtle hab, plains and spare hab, the spare hab's that one there, and shops entrance. We haven't put the wolf one, just because the wolf one's kind of far away from anything else. Uh, we'll just hope that someone deals with that. So, what we are going to do is we're going to select... Four vendors, because that takes four vendors, and then two extra. And we're going to set them to shops at the entrance. Then we're going to want to select... Can we... Can we, like, filter you by job so you're not mixed? Because this is horrific. Um... Oh, we'll just have to do it this way, I guess. Uh, right. Work zone. Why can't I collapse the work zone? So I should be able to click work zone and have that collapse so I don't have to see all of them. Okay. UX and UI with E. We're back to that again. Uh, you are a... a mouse over, it doesn't tell me the job. A uh, keeper. We need two keepers per each of these because each of them is two enclosures. So one, two... Bison and Croc. One. Two. Planes and Spare. Three, four. Leopard and Turtle. And then we're going to want to select one vet for each. And look how many we've got spare. Like, this is just dumb. This is frankly obscene. We don't need this many staff, but apparently we do to get them to actually do anything. Uh, so... Vendor shops, work zones, unassigned staff. We should see them listed here now. Yeah. Alright, vets, one on each. Vendors, we've got 20 vendors by the way, there's actually only four places here. For vendors to be working. That's just dumb. The fact we've got so many vendors. Uh, we should probably just fire a load. Because some of them are like, I've got a high workload. And then some of them are just like, I'm doing nothing. So let's just start firing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Mechanics. Ah, I want to select uh, one mechanic for the bison and croc, one mechanic for the planes and spare, and one mechanic for the leopard and turtle habs. And also find we've got 13 keepers. Just insane numbers. And yet none of these are marked as low workload. And a caretaker who is on high. Yeah, that's uh, that's something we could improve on. We can have another two caretakers probably. Your social is stressed. Uh, I've put this wall in here hoping that will help them out a little bit. Can you get unstressed here? Looks like yes. Great. Bison habitat is a cleanliness risk. Well, hopefully now I've got someone assigned, that'll clear up. And people are visiting. Lovely. Right. Uh, there is a lot of poop here. I'm hoping 
that someone's going to come clean up the poop. But I think we'll find we'll have the same issues before is that they don't like crossing the river. I have seen people cross this river. So I don't know. Uh, one thing we can do is we can move this. And then decrease the volume. To there. There we go. And then... Raise the water level. Damn it! Because someone said, oh, it might be the, uh, the speaker being too low that was blocking it. No. It's just the terrain tools are really annoying. Um, disease down, we'll discover. There we go. Call the bat. I'm also going to call a keeper. See if that should clean the place up. Keeper left. Uh, right, we're gonna just put this path back in. It really, really annoys me that, like, I just can't go, hey, maybe we need a second entrance into this. No, you can't add a multiple gates to a habitat. Why not? Why can't I have multiple entrances to a habitat? Why is this not valid? You, you want a river running through a habitat? You, we never thought of that. That's, wow, you're on some other level, dude. How could you have thought that a river could run through a habitat? We never decided that the AI might get a bit confused by that. That's... That's... Oh my god, you're on some next level stuff here. Sorry. I'm not actually sorry. But it's a bit nuts that that's... That's an issue that we're having here. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, look, I placed that down. Why can't I place this? Why? Why is this game like this? Oh, thank God. Okay, that's just the worst path, but sure. It looks horrific in that habitat. Oh, Puff had his head off spring. Lovely. Oh, uh, yep, there we go, and they're actually going to use it. No! You're not even using it! You decided you're going to clean up over here! And now you're leaving! I don't... I don't... You know what? Let's just go deal with the other problems we have, which is we need more food and drink options. Uh, so, what I'm probably going to do is duplicate this and then replace uh, what things are in there with other options. So, duplicate. Oh, or not. And you know what, actually, this is, a, this is another exhibit. We could do with another exhibit, but... Uh, oh, no. We don't want the exhibit there. We probably want the exhibit up here. Path. Nope, nope, nope. Line to grid. Okay, why why did that not work? A line to grid. 
I'm going to click multiple times to actually get these to go down. Hmm. There we go. And I'll bang on about the UI and stuff, like, a lot. But that's because, to me, this game is great. It's a lot of fun. Apart from, obviously, the UI. And for me, a game should just be playable and should be a joy to play. And a big part of that often comes down to, you know, does the game want me to play it? And I think that, in a lot of cases, um, bad UI for me really gets in the way of the game. Like, the game itself doesn't include the UI. The UI is the thing that allows you to play the game. And I know that, you know, it sounds a bit weird, but for me, a UI is just the tool, right? The tool that brings you the game, much like, you know, your GPU is or your mouse cursor is. Like, it's just a tool. You know, maybe just like I am, I'm a tool. Um, but for me, like, it's just something that feeds you what you want. You don't actually want to consider the UI as part of the game. I mean, there are some games out there that do wacky things, and maybe, you know, in that case, we can make an exception. But for me, a game like this, it's really about everything about, oh, the animals and, like, making money and stuff. And it's not about, oh, can I click and stuff or whatever. That's just a tool that allows you to play the game. And when it gets in the way in a game like this, I'm just like, I really like the game. Just stop. Stop making it difficult for me to like the game. Allow me to do the things I want to do. Uh, I think we'll edit this. We will probably want to move that. I think this is going to be Spider Den. Spider Den. Spider Den. Gonna have to change the text on this. Even so, like, in general, the controls are pretty useful and easy to use for a lot of things. Uh, ooh, this one's a lot bigger, so I think we're going to have to try and hide this one a little bit more. Put it quite high up. But there are some obvious things that for me are missing, or have been added, like, you know, certain OK prompts and drop downs and multiple different key combinations to make things go up and down and sometimes when you place the path and then you go down on the next bit it goes back to the previous bit of path which is just kind of weird like keep your rules the same a general rule of thumb keep your rules the same when you're going between different items they should all respond the same to different key presses uh oh exhibit trading uh we would like... I mean, we could go with lizards, but I think there's only, like, two or three different kinds of lizards. Yeah. Right. Spiders. Brazilian salmon pink tarantula. Do we have a male? We do. You're pretty good. I'm gonna adopt you. We need a male Brazilian salmon pink tarantula. Um, that's probably it. Okay, there's only the one male I saw. Was there any males? Uh, no, there were no male Brazilian pink salmon things. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Brazilian wandering? Both male. Couldn't breed. Um, Goliath bird eater, both female. Mexican red knee tarantula. That we can do. 
will adopt you for money. And even though you've got lower fertility, I th oh no, we'd have to adopt you for conservation credits, and then we'll get you. And that's it. Okay, so we've only got one breeding pair out of that if we go for spiders. I think we'll go for spiders. We want to keep the theme. You've got good longevity. Oh, you're, again, you're adopt. Uh, we could go for you. Your longevity is terrible. You'll be dead so soon. We're going to keep the theme. I know we should probably just go bugs and stuff at this point and be like, why not? Like, you can breed some bugs here. We're going to keep to a theme. There we go. Mexican, Mexican, Goliath, Brazilian. Uh, what else do we need? One more spider. Did we get the Brazilian wandering? No, we could get the Brazilian wandering. And, oh, we can get a... Nope, that's Brazilian Sun and Sun Pink. That's the only wanderer. Okay, and that's going to be dead pretty soon. Sure, why not? Uh, right. Move you into here. Move you into here. Move you into here. And move you into here. Promise these are already named, so we're going to have to go through and name them all. For instance, this is the Goliath Bird Eater Exhibit. Temperature is 28. Humidity is acceptable, but wants to be a bit higher. Okay. I'm tempted just to leave the windows up because it's all big foresty area. And they all want exactly the same temperature. Yeah, because they all come from the same sort of forest. Fair enough. Uh, what are you? Mexican. Red. Knee. Taran. Tula. That is way too long for title. Brazilian. Salmon. Pink. You need something, like, snappier as a name. We're going to have to do some branding work with you there, Spider. And you're the Brazilian Wandering Spider. Right, good work. Question, do you have power? You do, okay. In which case, obvious thing. Money. Money, money, money. Uh, ATM there. And then we need to go for all the exhibit things as well. Bins. Ah, we've got these built in. The problem is that they've defaulted to their normal volume because volume is set per device, not by the object. Right. I'm going to just place these like that.
and then bam. It's really nice that these just get the closest thing though, so it's really easy to program them. I think you need to be volume four. Pretty sure it's volume four that makes this work. Volume four. Ah. Four. Four. There we go. Yeah, volume four. Four. And. Inside that object. Oh, that way works. Done. And now with spiders. You could probably up the entrance fee as well by like a dollar or two. Make it 18, 18, 15, sure. No missed sales. Like, no one turned up to the gate and was like, that's too expensive. Okay. We probably now want to add those uh, facilities I was talking about. So... Brown snake, uh, snake is expecting offspring. Nice. Tors is on the low welfare binge again. I, I don't know what to tell you, mate. You cause your own problems. Zupidia said you liked having people in your thing. Well, it was okay to have people in your thing. Well, you wouldn't kill anyone who... You get the point. So... Oh my god, you're actually feeding them? What is this madness? You're eating things from the piñata? Neat. Oh, we had an inspector report recently. And I missed it. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, the piñata's basically made of meat. Neat, didn't know that. Uh, right, we also want to have a facility down here. So... These could get quite expensive. We've only got 20 grand, so I'm thinking we start up here, because that one's a more important one. It's pretty far away from that. Whereas this one here is kind of on the edge. This is the direction we want to be expanding, so... I'm going to focus on you. Come on. There we go. And we'll get rid of those while we're here. Right. With that said, let's make something vaguely not terrible looking. That is, that's going to be really annoying. I wish I had the train tools to flatten that out. Uh, sure. Facility. Chief beef. Chief beef. We could make it like that, like, looking out over that area. Yeah. We'll put them far back. That's pretty flat. Gulpy Soda. Information Center. And Looney Balloons. Looney Balloons. <laughs> and then I'm using these as terrain tools. Uh, not exactly what I intended to do. But I can roll with it. We're getting back... Similar amount of price. Oh god, have we hired people? I don't know, did that hire people? I might have hired people. 
Yeah, okay, we need to fire a lot of you. Hi, um... That's solid. The easiest way to... Can I fire you from here? Why can I not fire you from here? Oh, there we go, I can. Yeah, there we go. Right, facilities. Uh, construction. Architecture. Walls. Now, we only have kind of the basic walls at the moment, which is kind of annoying. Like, we do have wooden planks, I guess. We could use wooden planks. But they look a, a bit bright. Like, I want something a bit darker. Concrete is just... Ugh. It's concrete for a start. Breeze blocks. I guess breeze blocks could work. Ah, uh, we'll go with we'll go with the wooden style. We'll see if we can make that work. And then we need to do the backs. Archway. Oh, we need to put something over that front. Oh! Shop front. There we go. An arch there. Um, we've got structural. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So we'll put in a roof, and then the idea is I want basically to feed cues into here. Uh, um, oh, we're gonna have to do that annoying hack again, but. And then exit that. Hi, you are fired. Like, I'm hiring these people just so I can use a terrain hack. I feel kind of bad for them. Uh, where is my construction? Roof. Do we have any other roofs now? We do have these, which are not great. Maybe like that. Corrugated looks terrible. That doesn't look much better. Um, What's the metal look like? Nope. Nope. Cargate plastic? Nope. I, I guess, honestly, the asphalt looks better than anything else. What we'll probably do... Hmm. Is run... It's like a wall bit that we can like chuck in there. It's a breeze... You know what, sod it. I'm... I'm 
too tired to deal with this. Let's just put the breeze block in there and just accept it. The horrible mishmash. Now, what I actually want is like a structural prop. And then... Something like that. I don't think it should be like that way around. I feel this should be vertical. More like that. And then bring you down because you'll be nailed to that beam there. Then we hit OK and then we're going to have to duplicate this. And then one last one for the middle. And finally, that. I should probably put something on them, like some sort of hanging stuff, but I do get a little bit impatient sometimes. You're just like, I want it done now. Put like air conditioner on the back. There we go. An outlet down here on the side. Seems to make sense to me. We could have called painted planks? Didn't tell me that. Well, I don't care anymore. Um, centerpieces. No. Lights. They do have lights. I will accept lights being important. What else do we have? Props. Do we them say like gold piece soda on them? Ooh, ooh. We could put ropes like this. Yeah. Oh, zebra banners that need to be moved to make sense, but they work. And, oh god, that is a very large stripe. That is a lot more acceptable size stripe. Which one do we want to use? I don't really want to use either. Solid, why not? Signs, here we go. Which one was the chief beef? That is here, right? Chief beef. Oh my god, we could have a gigantic sign. I think we could do that there to hide the breeze block. Gulpy soda could go over here. 
Or we could use this gulpy. Well, that's a bit big. It's meant to go on this end. Gulpy. Right. Then we need something equally awesome for like loony balloons. Loony balloons! Wow, that is a large sign. And then what do we do for information center? Like we've got big eye. Doesn't really sell it to me. Just the but like just the big eye isn't isn't really it's kind of boring. Can we like put something next to it? Yeah, like some flowers. Uh, give you a little bit of a rotate. We've got more flowers we could use. And then... Oh, whoops. Uh, I accidentally changed it by clicking it. I didn't know you could do that. Good to know. That one's nice. And then... Ah, uh, no. God, no. Whoops. Just accept. Interesting. If I have something selected and I select a thing, it goes directly on top of it. Uh, I think that's what we use. There we go. It looks a bit better. Does need something over this middle area. I'm not sure what. Also need something up these side bits. And I'm not really sure I like the look of the wood, but whatever, it's done now. We're gonna go path. Uh, I'm actually gonna undo that because I want to align to grid. And then for some reason we can't do that. Uh, sure, okay. And then we deselect the grid. One. Two. There we go. A little bit weird sometimes to get that connect, but ah, uh, is it because you want to go over that bit there, or? No. No, it's just because it's being really picky. I really have no idea why this does it sometimes, but it does. Whatever, it's done now. Uh, we will probably want to put up a way here. The issue is it's actually going to be quite... Ah, oh, damn it. Tough to get this to come off here. because it is relatively steep. Am I better off starting at the top or something? We can go up there, but note how we can't go flat.
It's a bit weird. I'll try using a smaller one. That will probably be okay. I'd say probably be okay. You know, we had the same thing in Planet Coaster with, oh my god, how is this not flat? And it, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed at all. Oh, that's pretty close. Also, that looks really wonky. No, we're getting closer. I can't believe that is having issues connecting, of all things. Oh, did I accidentally delete something here at one point? Yeah, I did. Align to grid. Deselect grid. One, two, three. There we go. Oh, that looks so weird. Is there any way we can do it without looking like someone who created this was on crystal meth? That's a bit better. It's still got this weird section here. But, I, you know, I guess it's part and parcel of playing this game. Right. I mean, it's got a weird section at the back that we really shouldn't question. I should probably put in some timber supports or something there to make it look better. Uh, right. We will need facilities, ATM. There. Two will be fine. And we could also do with a toilet block. And we could probably use this, although that is pretty large for a toilet block. Like, they only need to be that big. So I think we'll just use that one, and then we'll have to make it pretty real quick, because it's so much smaller to use that. Uh, construction. Architecture. No. Yes. Wall. And we'll keep to the same design. Oh, there's the wooden plank that we could have put on the gable. We'll do that there. Actually, we'll use the uh, thinner gable. And is there anything for the front? Is there any way to just rotate you, like, easily? Be like, I would like to rotate you. I guess we could just exit and then... Exit. That's the easy way. Pretty sure I just added the wrong one. Yeah, that's the wall gate. We want the plane. Alright, exit that, spin you around, click to enter that, and it aligns it. There we go. It's the easiest way to spin something around, it's actually to exit, because you can't use Z to rotate something while you're in the editing menu. It's so dumb! Like, Z is just locked off. You can't. 
Like, if I try and click here, and then Z, does nothing. Why? Why is that a thing? Why have you prevented me from using Z? Why can I not rotate things? Why do I have to do it some different way that involves using the, like, advanced editor? I just want to rotate it around the 90 degree axis. I don't want to do anything fancy. Welcome to eat uh, You know what? I was going to do something on the edge here, but I can't rotate it. So you know what? Sod it. Done. I'm done. I don't care. And then... Oh, look how much money we've got. We are going to... Gobbly soda is inaccessible. What? Oh, it is. Okay. And then we're going to go to zoo. Staff. Work zone. New work zone. You're going to be... Uh, shops. Wolf pen. Wolf overlook. There we go. And then staff, 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 staff. I'll we'll just use this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You now work at the Wolf Zone. Hey you. How are you thinking? You need food. Mm. Well, good for you. There's food up ahead. Suddenly I put food down and everyone's like, Oh my god, I must get to the food. Yeah, people were desperate in need of food and drink. That's funneling a lot of people that way. Okay, got research. And it is... World of Beast. We don't want to get in the extra education one, but we have got better food for them. There we go. Grade 2 food. Oh, wherever that was went. Low welfare. Are uh, you stressed? You are stressed. Also, uh, don't we need more wildebeest? Let's go check the animal trading. I think it's female wildebeest we need. All male. No, no, we have a couple of females. Not great genetics. There is one up here who's gold. Um. Ah, no, we'll just pay for these ones. Oh, you know what? We'll get her as well. I think that'll probably make us okay. No, it won't. Okay, we we'll, won't get her. We'll need two more female Wilbur's anyway. Uh, and then go to our... Here. And... Move. Oop. Yeah, they're overly stressed, so we should probably give them somewhere to hide. Edit barrier. And I think we'll probably just want to make this out of wood. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, snake had offspring. I think our tortoise had offspring as well. <gasps> Hello! You are now... Byzantium. Welcome, Byzantium. Ooh! Gold animal appeal. Oh, we need more long grass in here. 
Yeah, okay. Uh, long grass in exchange for like some of the sand. Let's look at your genetics. Where are your genetics? At the end. Your size is pretty low, but everything else is pretty damn good. And stress seems to be better for these guys now. And people like the view from up here. Okay. Fair play, in which case, if you like the view from up here, we better put in donation boxes. And you know what? We'll teach them at the same time. About the Black Wildebeest. And the Sable Antelope. Are you out of power range? No, no, you're, you're in power range, okay. It's just they use red to indicate out of power, but they also use red to indicate the one you have selected. Yes, it's not a great system. We also got research into... Sable Antelope. Which includes better food as well. Hello! You, my friend, are going to be Silvio. Oh, hello, Marguerite. Call that. Because that said you had an illness. Hmm. Disease discovered. There we go. Told you. One of our stable antelope is expecting offspring. Lovely. Where's our last animal? Okay, that's a lot of low welfare. We'll have to deal with that in a moment. Um, did we not rename you? No, you are Silvio. Has it just not updated up here? Oh, that's the trade history. Uh, animal market. No, we want zoo animals. In transit to vet. Yeah, that's the one we want. You are going to be renamed as Jagnath. Uh, Jagnath, there we go. Not Jagmath. Look, if you're stressed out, you really shouldn't be going over to this side of the thing. Like, there are areas to de-stress. Hello. No disease. <gasps> Tim Wolf's about to have offspring! We're gonna have offspring! I'm waiting for it. There's a little wolf cub! The wolf cubs in this are absolutely adorable. Look at it! Oh my god! It's twins! Uh, 
Als Wolf Cup Twins. That's so adorable. Let me get my camera. Like, I want to get my camera closer. I want to see all the twins. There we go. So cute. So cute. Hello, Wolf Cub. to you too. Hello. That's so adorable. Who's the warring now? Come play with things. Play! I'm gonna miss so much because I'm busy with the wolf cubs. This is perfectly fine. Look at you. That's so adorable. We're gonna have to name you now. <gasps> Are you teaching them how to awoo? Oh, Where are you? Oh, you're coming to play the sprinkler? Awoo! Oh. You're just gonna walk through. Okay, that's fine. This is normal. Okay, what have I missed? Low welfare for the yellow anaconda. Exhibit? Cleanliness. Oh, okay. I guess we need to assign a keeper to the exhibit as well. Um, do we have snake pit as an exhibit? I mean, like, as a, as a staff area, work zone. No, okay. New work zone. Snake pit. New work zone. Uh, spider den. And then snake pit. Spider den. Keeper. Uh, apparently, we're not even calling the keeper. What can't? Are you being called already? Guess you're on your way. That is quite a crowd. I guess they like the high view. Do you like this view? Lots of room to walk. I guess the view of the saltwater crocodiles is okay from. I mean, you're not meant to see the so awkward does from here. Uh, they've got a point, by the way. They said, oh, it's really not tidy. That would be because we need bins. It's a good point. We'll probably need some down here as well.
That might be why it's a little bit, you know, not clean. Um, not being able to place the bin doesn't help. We made a lot of money recently. I want to call the keeper. Ah, you're already going. Yes, the cleanliness is definitely the glass. Sure, whatever. Let's just go with it. Ow! How are you liking the wolf cubs? This zoo feels pretty small. There isn't much to see. Look, we're working on it. Facility buildings have ruined my experience. I mean, what facility building can you see? I think all of them are out of sight, right? Maybe when you enter the toilet, like you're just close enough or something? I don't know. I don't care. Maybe you've been here since before I made the changes. You've been here just a really long time. An extra chief beef and gulpy somewhere would probably help. Gulpy tends to get a lot of people and chief beef is constantly up to the max on the queue. Either way, we're going to call it here for this episode. We have expanded our uh, facilities. We have ourselves some puppies and apparently snow leopard offspring expected soon. More? Wait. The only male in here is your son. Did you mate with your son? I mean, he does have amazing genetics. I mean, he's got pretty decent genetics. He's bronze. His longevity is terrible. <laughs> Everything else is pretty decent. Yeah, okay. Can you just pass on your longevity? Nope, no you can't. Your longevity's bad. You've got great fertility. That's maybe a, well, how this whole thing happened. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely did it with your, uh, with your son. Anyway, I've been at Rhodesium. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, in between episodes, I'm going to add some conservation boards up here because I feel that we should. Why are you still... Did you not... Oh, uh, maybe you didn't select the... No? Then why are you still red? I've got no idea. It's like... The entire thing overlaps. Either way, I mean, I really see him stay shiny. I can't deal with this.